Welcome to Origins, where we cover the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Tim Drake is a fan favorite Robin, but did you know he isn't really a Robin? He's Red Robin. So how did he get that title? This is the New 52 retelling of his origin. Tim didn't lose his parents at a young age, and he wasn't full of rage that needed to be harnessed. Tim was simply the best at everything. He had an amazing future in front of him as he trained for the Olympics. He had colleges lined up to recruit him, and he had two loving parents to support him. He even impressed Batman because of the projects that he was conducting in his spare time. But Batman told Alfred repeatedly, he would not take Tim as his new Robin. He wouldn't lose another after Jason. He didn't want to be the one carrying Tim's body to his parents, explaining what had happened. But Tim wanted more, and he knew that he could matter in the world. He could be more than an Olympic athlete. He could be more than the top student at his college. He had a little side project that he had been working on between classes and on the weekends, the one that impressed Batman. And the project was Batman. He was getting closer day by day to figuring out who Batman really was. Tim noticed that Robin was missing lately and that Batman seemed to be on edge lately, a little more brutal and a little angrier. So he followed the clues and he got on the trail and he followed a man that he thought was Batman to an abandoned aviary. Inside, he did find Batman, but it was all a trap set up by Batman so he could talk to Tim. What do you want, Tim? And shockingly, Tim replies with, I want to apply for a job as the new help. I'll sign whatever you want to ensure that you aren't liable. But Batman was still a little messed up by the whole Jason incident and coldly told Tim, this isn't a game. It's a matter of life and death. But Tim jumps in, like what happened to Robin. This conversation is over. Now go home. You are never going to see me again, Batman says, leaving the building. Any normal kid would have probably moved on at this point, gone to college, gotten into the Olympics, and lived the life that was laid out before him. But not Tim. He insisted on creating his own destiny. Since Batman wouldn't let him become the new Robin, he decided to use his skills to take money from the rich and give it to the poor. And the first rich individual that he did this to was the Cobblepots. He stole Penguin's fortune. As Alfred put it, it appears that all of this was to get Batman's attention. And it worked. As Tim got home that evening, Penguin's gang arrived at his house, and they started shooting up the whole building. Tim shouted, Batman, in surprise, as Batman comes crashing through the window. But Batman just told him, don't insult either of us by pretending you weren't expecting me. So Tim drops the act, and he turns to him. What's the plan, sir? And Batman snaps at him. There is no plan. You're staying here until I clean up your mess. And Tim follows that up by shouting at him. Can I just say that you're a lot surlier in real life than I imagined you were going to be when I started this? While Batman handled Penguin's gang, Tim crawled to his parents' room to ensure that they were safe. Because would he become another Robin? One who lost his parents due to a mistake that he made? But thankfully, they were fine. And Tim Drake would not become another Robin that became an orphan that night. So once the whole mess was cleaned up, Batman did offer Tim a spot with him, but as his partner, not as his sidekick. If Tim agreed to work with him and do what Batman told him to do, he'll come to trust Tim, and they can be true partners. Tim's parents? Well, they were placed into protective custody to keep them away from Cobblepot's gang, but they were okay with that. They knew that their son was destined for amazing things in this life, and they were willing to sacrifice their own lives to ensure his future. So they went into witness protection. Batman then brought Tim to the Batcave where Tim looked around in awe. But once he was asked to put on Robin's uniform, last worn by Jason, he politely replied with, out of respect for Jason, I won't be wearing that uniform. I think it benefits no one. So after he disappears into the changing room, he comes out with an outfit of his own design. And Batman replies with, welcome aboard Robin. But Tim corrects him. That's Red Robin, partner. Red Robin wouldn't stay with Batman long because he would eventually set off on his own to continue forging his own destiny. In the New 52 universe, he set off to investigate the disappearances of superpowered teenagers and eventually formed the Teen Titans, which he eventually leads. 
So thank you for joining us for today's episode, and make sure you follow us on Twitter at ComicStorian and follow our subreddit r slash ComicStorian. Also remember, we run two other channels, Eligible Monster for Gaming Comic Books and Variety Gaming Videos, and List Bomb, where we do all kinds of extra research and turn it into lists. Click both links into the description down below because we really appreciate anyone who subscribes to the channel. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has followed this channel and help us get to where we are now. This is an amazing community and make sure you go check out theweeklypoll.net because that's where the community forms up and we all chat. I'm Benny the Comic Historian and I will see you guys next time right here.